Kazix is S tier. Now who's laughing? Well, we've seen, uh, we've seen it, you know, do really well for Oni. In his one-on-one -on -one matchup, was able to pick up a win with a Rengar there. Kazix is going to be locked in. Uh, as the jungle of choice for both these teams, like I mentioned. Top lane for QTV is going to be Pantheon. We already see the Zed being locked in for Eldwin. Uh, champion that we don't see too often. Has he played once or twice so far? South of Desert do lock in Nocturne as well as Ari for their bottom lane combo. Still waiting to see what the bottom lane for the Turkish squad is going to be. Yeah, right now we've seen a lot of the AD carry Aries come through. Uh, I use the, those terms loosely. <laughs> Just building AD, having ranged auto attacks, obviously. So. There's a lot of things that we're going to see. Um, QTV, if he ends up going up against Elwin, I feel like he's probably going to have just a straight up good ish matchup. Uh, I don't really see Pantheon versus Zed too much, but you've got to factor the block in there and the stun. So there's a lot of damage that is going to get mitigated from that Pantheon. It certainly is. And on, the other, on Turkish bottom lane as well, we see the Katarina being picked up by Dumbledore once again. He had a great performance last time he picked up the Katarina, started with the Dark Seal and then went off immediately, picking up 10 stacks, uh, dealing a significant amount of damage for his team as well, even though he's just coming from the support position, so to speak. But for everyone back at home, remember to vote for your favorite team at LOL Esports. Use the hashtag TURWIN or the hashtag SEAWIN for who you want to take the second match. Oh my, this is, uh, this is going to be an explosive game because that's three ignites on the side of the GPL. <laughs> they don't want TPs. Pantheon <laughs> ult is enough. Um, nobody needs to cross the map quite that quickly, Who apparently. Needs teleport when you can kill people, stress. Whereas Naru uh, realizes he's got the beneficial matchup here. Gets to blind pick the Diana into the LeBlanc. Potentially play LeBlanc in the Summoner's Rift match, but it was Turkey that banned it away, and Optimus has locked it in as his assassin of choice in this I just, match. I just wanted to see Naru on LeBlanc. <laughs> it's been a long, long time. Pulse and I used to cast him in the... Um, before Riot had Challenger series, mm -hmm. in like online tournaments. We used to cast him every week. Uh, I'd always play LeBlanc and always smash people, and I just really wanted to see that again. And someone who's no stranger to that LeBlanc is Optimus. Played it so many times in the GPL over a number of years here. As we take a look at the Keystone Mastery, so it's just Thunderlords all across the map, stress. Uh, <laughs> every single assassin is ready to just deal as much damage as possible. No courage at the Colossus. Who needs it when you can be an absolute man and just <laughs> kill people? Exactly. Uh, th at this point, honestly, I don't know how much Courage of the Classes would have done unless you're you know, on Pantheon, you jump in, uh, <laughs> stun one person, get the shield of five. Maybe. I don't think it's... It's assassin mode. It's assassin mode, Fish. We don't need, uh, we don't need shields and heals and pointless things like that. <laughs> For now, though, we're going to see Crystal start on the blue side of his map. Levy's going to do the exact same thing. Gonna get a leash from the Pantheon. Where's the bottom lane duo of Saint Not and Double Doge gave a leash on over towards Crystal in the mid lane. Naru taking a little bit of harass here from Optimus. Yeah, and but the thing is, Naru. So he's what he's done there is he's trading his health away, gets the early push on the lane, and was looking to ward up on the top side just to try and prevent any kind of shenanigans from Levy coming from the top side. They knew, uh, I believe, they knew that they'd started blue, or at least was perhaps anticipating it. So it was just able to kind of pull back away. In fact, I think he was predicting that he was starting on the bottom side and was just pulling back up to the top side of his lane. Well, for now, Kazik's still farming up his wolf camp in the bottom lane. Rono P and Celebrity are the first to hit level two. A Nocturne in the bottom lane. I mean, he is an AD champion, but an interesting pairing with Nocturne and Ari. They're <laughs> sharing CS as well. Oh, Crystal has been spotted um, going right into mid lane. He's going to get jumped on by Levi here. Gets the first leap. He has to hop away. Optimus was looking to see if he can get anything put down on towards the Kha'Zix, but instead gets a decent amount of damage on towards Naru. Surprising amount of wave clear that LeBlanc has when you can kind of combo those sigils, get him forward, push the wave. Um, but that whole exchange with Crystal and Levi um, is all based on the isolation there. The fact that like Levi's jumping in first, gets the initial damage down, is able to put damage on top. Naru's gonna be careful He's here. been ignited. Optimus gonna take the distortion backwards. Naru's oh. gonna get taken down and Optimus, he picks up first blood. Naru took too much damage from the initial trades and was way too low. We've been talking about how Diana's a decent matchup here and just is not able to survive through the ignite. 
We spoke about how there's three of them. Well, there we go. Gets punished for Naru taking TP. Doesn't have the lane summoner and uh, gets taken out. And immediately, Naru uses that teleport to get back into his lane. 15 CS to 13. Both of them picked up two Doran's rings, but a Dark Seal has been picked up by Optimus <laughs> here. And that's not the normal Dark Seal where somebody goes corrupting potion and buys it just to get the additional uh, no. regeneration. Uh, Optimus has one thing on his mind, and that is snowballing. He's going to be able to do a lot of that if he keeps up his performance so far. Chains on the second proc. There's a surprising amount of damage that LeBlanc has when those lock. And then Naru, oh, it's the auto with that ignite. Optimus is able to take him down. And that's the difference. If, you know, there was an ignite for Naru, that would have been the return gang. Oh, bottom side. Zaynot's right, dead. Taking a lot of damage for Celebrity. He's already got one kill on towards Zaynot. Double dodge throw. Picking up his daggers as he flashes and dashes around the bottom lane. Trying to knock back Celebrity, but it's still sad. He has to get a kill. Crystal looking at a face check in towards Levy. Gets oh. the isolation damage. He hops on the spot and has to flash away. Levy chases on forward. He's under the turret, but one swift swipe is all it takes. And he gets a kill. Now Elwin's in trouble as QTV jumped on top of him. Both Ignites being put down. Levy is still looking to see if he can get another hop on top of him, but it's just the top lane is trading blows. Well, this has gone from bad to worse for the Turkish team. After losing game one, they've now dropped three early kills in Assassin's mode, and the snowball is starting to build because Optimus, Celebrity, and Levy are ahead. And uh, this is going to be a rough, rough game for Turkey to try and ho hang on to. We didn't quite see how Zeitnot died, but Optimus is going to walk back into lane with the level advantage and trade the Ooh. damage, the bounce onto Naru. This is what, oh, Zaynon's just too far up in the lane. A, a massive amount of damage Celebrity gets on top of him and flashes for the kill. And they thought they had enough to take down Ron OP, but he lives to fight another day. <laughs> 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 and we have a couple of members from the Saudi Shaven staff <laughs> celebrating right there after the kills that the GPL team have picked up. It's now 1,500 gold in Southeast Asia's favor. Significant lead, significant lead at this point. In, uh, I mean, the extra experience. I mean, LeBlanc is now level six, so has a, uh, has ability, you know, to use the ultimate here, has access to it. So we'll see whether Optimus looks for another kill because his ignite's nearly back up. Naru should be okay. Should be able to close the experience gap just in time. Now Optimus just still farming up against Naru here. Double Doge. Oh, oh. no. Fails the Scar, the Scar Award. award. Yeah. Uh. Now you've got to put a second one the other side. That's, <laughs> that's how that goes. Just got to use all your wards in the same spot. But he gives it up there. Set moves into the mid lane. Dumbledore is trying to get a gank on towards Optimus, who hops away, pops his ultimate to do just that. Naru gets a decent trade back down. And they do force Optimus to play a little bit safer here. Nearly at the point where Celebrity is six as well. This is what uh, the LJL were doing with the Nocturne, reducing the effectiveness of uh, you know any kind of vision control and teleport plays. You just pop the uh, the ult from Nocturne. Don't really let anybody TP in. Now, paranoia really does shut down a lot of options. I see both bottom laners from each team sharing the farm at the moment. Ultimate's going to be given a blue buff on over by Levy here. So we'll be able to sustain his mana quite well in this mid lane instead. Crystal decides not to give it to Naru. He takes it for himself. Hits a level six. I think Crystal's saying that, well, Naru, you're just going to give it over soon <laughs> at this point. So Ignite's back up. Optimus is probably going to kill you again. So I'm not giving you a blue buff just for that transfer. Oh, Levy snuck his way into the top lane. Try brush. QTV was able to deny a ward up in the top lane there by the scrying plant that got hit by Levy earlier. Crystal is waiting in the bottom lane as well to try and see if the South Southeast Asian team overextend or commits in any way. So both Kazakhs have evolved Q first, as seems to have become the norm. That 60% cooldown uh, on Q coming back mid lane. Hang on. Grand hang Skyfall, on. though. Straight on top of Nari. He's going to dash away from it. He's now closer towards the Southeast Asian jungle. Ultimate's oh, going to miss Optimus. the double change. QDV's going to try and jump over. Ultimate's taking a lot of damage. So Naru might be able to take it down. Crystal's joined this one. It's now oh. QTV. Let's take it down. No, Levy's he's gone Levy. in. He's got one kill. Crystal's now the next target. Taking a lot of damage. But Satan flashes forward with the charm. 
Here comes TCL Lockton. TCL get two kills there. No, they bagged themselves away. That was a, a little bit of a misplay at first by Optimus, but it it backfires. Naru dies, but two of the GPL squad end up falling as well. Oh, that was a little unfortunate from Optimus. Went for the Mimic, didn't quite get it. Both chains missed. Missing a very important spell there. Levy is able to get a consolation prize of a kill, but does get taken down after as well. So Naru's decision here, as soon as the Pantheon ult comes through, Naru's like, oh, okay, I've only got one real way to go. Goes on to the target that had uh, the mark available. So has another jump to get onto Optimus and tries, tries again to get there. But Optimus just too much mobility. QTV couldn't get himself out of that situation, but Levy jumps right in. Ending up going a little too far because the Flash Charm is enough from Zite not to be able to take him out. And it's going to be Turkey to pick up two kills for one there. <laughs> LeBlanc just throwing her clone down into the bottom lane, trying to deceive Zeke not on his Ari. Who hasn't gone AD. Hmm. Getting some AD from the rest of the team by the looks of it. The Kha'Zix, of course, the Zed, of course, and uh, that cat that goes kind of both. Wow. That was a near instant stun coming out from QTV there, as soon as Crystal appeared from his ultimate. Celebrity now making his way all the way from the bottom lane up top. Does have Paranoia available if he wants to get the jump down on towards Elwyn QTV. Moving a little bit aggressive forward, but there is Crystal close oh. by. Ultimus Naru. Lands a chain on towards Naru. Pops the ultimate as well, well but we're top. looking top lane because they're going for a fight. QTV is getting jumped on. Here comes Celebrity. He's in a monster. Crystal gets Ooh. a lot of damage down, but it's going to be the ultimate from the Zed that pops to pick up the kill. Now they're looking at Celebrity. Trying to see if they can get a second kill here, but he does get back to the safety of his turret. Was wondering if Pantheon's passive with the block would have done anything to have helped him in the matchup. Turns out, no, Zed ult just goes straight through him, and despite Celebrity being there, that Nocturne just couldn't really turn the tide of the 2v2, and Crystal just brings the damage as well. It's now 4-3. Still in favor of the South Asian squad, but Turkey have hold on quite nicely and even up the gold lead quite significantly. It's only a kill's worth of gold in favor of Southeast Asia now. Ultimus in the mid lane, he's picked up a Negatron Cloak. So is, so is Naru, but we take a look at the top lane uh, fight once again. So, Elwyn, does he just ult in? Yeah, there was no block on a lot of that, and pop! <laughs> Ends up falling, Celebrity has to back out too. Nice, clean and simple coming out from the Turkey well, uh, Turkey All-Star squad. Nari now taking a lot of damage. It's an ultimate coming from Ultimus. Here comes Levy, jumps in. He tries to go back in for a bit of damage for his own, but Levy picks up the kill. And Levy, we talked about his last game on Kha'Zix. This game is going much the same way, and Naru is really struggling on this Diana. He's getting focused so, so hard. But wait, Dumble Doge is here. Ultimus has got to be careful. Crystal's going to jump on top of him. Here comes the Doge, as Zaytnot dashes forward. Dumble Doge does get the kill. Levy's now in trouble. As KDB's going to jump in, but they're spinning around. Crystal's dealing a lot of damage. He gets the double kill as well. And that's three members of Southeast Asia getting taken down. Oh, they came in one by one into the middle lane. And QTV didn't really want to take that ultimate in the end of all things. It looked like this game was going to go so well for SEA. But a couple of just risky engages. Hang on, Rotto PC here this time. looking for a fight, Dumbledore. He's been exhausted. He's trying to hot skip and jump, but it's not enough. Rotto P dashes for one last time, even gets the flash out of Dumbledore to pick up the kill. Macro game on the top side though as Elwind's pushing down the tower. Elwind tried his best in the Summoner's Rift game on that cannon to try and hold his team afloat. Went massive, he's got one kill and now the tower first blood for himself as well. Maybe that's what Turkey need to build from. They do now have a lead because of it. He's also 100 CS to the 67 of QTV, but let's take a look at this again. Optimus just gets jumped on. Yeah, Levy not quite sure if he wants to go in. Optimus is dead. Levy then goes out of position. He's dead. QTV thinks he can pick up Crystal and then he dies. Oh, oh, Elwin's going top for QDB. Looking Who else is here? Fight. Pops the passive first. There's then the, the ultimate death mark going to come out. QDB doesn't take too much damage. Throws one more spear. It's Levy now Ooh. chasing on towards the Zed. Pops his own ultimate. Elwin's going to have to flash away. Optimus even roaming up here as well. Elwin has to put on his blue suede shoes if he wants to get out of this one. Ignite being used quite early. But Optimus, they're going to be able to get another kill. So Levy gets the damage down. Couldn't quite get out. They were trying to run him down the lane. Of course, no slow on that Kha'Zix, uh, you know, W without the evolution. 
but it was still just the damage that gets put on. They're able to get under the tower and take him out. Naru what is trying you? to farm out Raptors. What are you doing there, buddy? Ignite comes down from Celebrity. He's going to pop the tier mark. That's a lot of damage from Naru, but he uses the paranoia to instill nightmares into Naru. And because they saw Levy on the top side, Naru was thinking, okay, I guess I'll just play this like a standard game and farm out my enemy Raptors and try and get a little bit ahead in CS. You're 0-4, Crystal's dead! Yeah, he's been shut down. Levy and Ron OP combo up to get another kill in the bottom lane. There's been a lot of action in the early game here, Stress, unlike the Summoner's Rift match just saw. It's mode. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff, Fish. This is what we want. This <laughs> is the, the action that we're looking for. It's Look, if they're not played in Summoner's Rift, just remove every other champion and we'll get some assassins <laughs> on the go. Well, it's 14 minutes in and there's 40, there's been 15 kills in Summoner's Rift, so more than a kill a minute. It doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. Southeast Asia now have their eyes set towards the Ocean Dragon. Run OP is actually going to get charmed up by Zaynot here, forced to use the ultimate to get away. Hmm. Dragon attempt is going to be successful. You can see Levy just has so much damage. Just gets the Q again and again <laughs> onto that Dragon and easily takes the Ocean Drake. They want to go mid lane for Naru, who is not having the best of games, but doesn't get hit by the chains, so no lockdown. No ability to catch onto him quite that quickly. And the gold is dead even between Southeast Asia and the Turkish Wild, uh, sorry, All Star teams. Elwin's able to take down a scuttle crab on the top side of the river, giving his team a little bit of invulnerable vision for a while. And still see Optimus clearing out the mid lane, just pushing it constantly in towards Naru's turret. He's gone back to base and picked up an abyssal scepter for himself. Optimus is going to head back to base and pick up his first major item, you'd assume. It's funny, I thought for a moment, I was like, wow, Morellonomicon on support for Ron OP. That's, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that. And uh, then realized, no, of course, he's playing <laughs> Ari as support at the same time, and it is an Assassin's game. So <laughs> Levy and... Uh, Oh, hang on, Zaytnot. Slavery so takes a little bit of damage. Thunderlord's box comes out, but Levy goes over the wall. Zaytnot, he's in trouble. One last Q is going to come down, and Levy goes on a killing spree with that one. Oh, that is just so much damage comes out from Levy. Right now, he's got the, the Warhammer on top of the Red Smite with Warrior, so he just walks up to people and two shots them in general. Oh. Bottom lane turret's going to fall up in the top lane. QDB's being jumped on. Crystal's taking a lot of damage, but flashes away from the final turret auto attack to live to fight another day. Optimus is moving through the jungle to try and wrap his way it. around. Pops the explosive flower, trying to get closer. Elwin's going to stick around. Doesn't have death mark to deal with this. LeBlanc going to pop his shadows. Oh. Optimus gets juked out. The Q will come through. Elwin's now trying to run away, and Optimus will not be able to catch up to the Zed. Oh, well played, Elwin. Was, uh, you know, trying to bait out that W. Got Optimus to, to dash forward with the distortion, and then after that, then goes to a shadow. Yeah, nice attempt at the prediction from Optimus, but uh, not quite at the right time. So uh, Naru? Paranoia on top of Naru. Ron OP is already here, gets the damage he needs. He goes on the killing spree as well as Naru. He's 0-5 and 1 in Assassin's mode. <sighs> He's the one that we were like, this guy, Assassins. He plays all of the Assassins. He's normally great. The Diana has not worked out so much because of the fact that there's been a Kha'Zix, there's been a Nocturne, there's been an Ari, there's been a Pantheon in his lane. Does everybody mid lane against Naru? And now Optimus oh. now going to jump over the out of nowhere. Raptor wall to allow Ron OP to pick up the kill with his Q. And Southeast Asia just jumping all over the Turkish All-Star team. Just coming right from behind the team. Basically just doesn't oh, even no. Elwin, don't, don't go there, buddy. He jumps over the wall, but Levy follows through. Deathmark gets popped to try and keep himself alive a little bit longer. But a rampage for Levy as he gets another kill. Woo, this game is speeding up. Even though it's still fairly even on the gold from the fact that uh, Elwin and Crystal were able to take down turrets, there's a lot of gold currently sitting on the uh, SEA players in their inventory, over a thousand on a couple of them, so they will end up going back to buy and going to get inevitably stronger. Naru, what are you waiting for down there? Is that a fight you want? I don't think that's a fight he wants. Well, he's 
Gotta make a move now, soon, because Levy is close by. Oh, yeah, hang on, actually. Ari's coming down too. Wow, that's a lot of damage. So Levy's gonna take quite a lot of damage there. The fear will come out. He's gonna try and get the heck out of Dodge. Levy's close by, jumps over, they swap places! The one-two switcheroo comes out from Southeast Asia. There's now Zaytnoff's the target. Levy gets a double kill off the back of that one. Oh, it was looking good for Naru, who he had been so patient waiting in that tri bush. And uh oh. I don't. Th do no, 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 that's no, a level Crystal. 12 or level Crystal, 10. What are you oh doing? My goodness, Levy! Crystal, what are you doing? You're playing the same champion with a two level disadvantage and someone's got 10 kills. Oh, they're not done yet though, Stress, because Domodo just being jumped on QTV, joins the party for Optimus to get his next kill. 17 to what? 7 on the scoreboard. It's a bloodbath on what? Summoner's Rift. Why would you do that? Was it that he just was like, oh, he's isolated, I guess he'll go for him. Puts himself in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that was silly. That was not a good decision to be made by Crystal. <laughs> it certainly was not. But still, Southeast Asia in firm control of this game at the moment. 3,500 golden lead, and they want Naru on OP's jump forward. Gets an easy charm off after the chains, and it's going to be QTV that picks up the kill. Oh, I've been told that Levy has 35% of his team's damage, and he has uh, nearly, well, over 50% of the kills to go yeah. alongside it as well <laughs> for his team. So no assists for Levy. Oh, Optimus trying to play the tricks to game. Say, not my pay for that one with his life. Elwin as well as Levy hops. Gives it jumps again, double dodge to the next target. He gets the triple kill. Gets the triple kill, reminiscent of the old on the Kazakh jumping in for the triple 13, 2, and 0. Oh, the SCA team, they look in commanding control of this game. They look like they're going to the finals. Well, they're going to try and push down an inhibitor turret first off here in the mid lane. Levy, Celebrity, and Rono P get some good damage down. Naru now is going to join in amongst the action. Celebrity with a good spell shield. Naru taking a lot of damage. The Fear Tether's coming out, forces the flash. Levy tries to jump in, doesn't connect as Naru will flash away. QTV is here as well. Seems like they just want the inhibitor turret and now running back to safety. Oh, I was saying how I didn't feel like on day one, I was like, oh, okay, LeBlanc's not really going to be played because one champion can't carry. We're going all the way back to uh, some bad decision-making because Nara decides to go on Celebrity, inevitably, and it's, as you said, the old switcheroo was not expecting a Kha'Zix who jumps in and completely then destroys Ari, and then Crystal. Okay, so you got about 300 health on him, uh, at least that he's missing. Crystal stealths in, gets eaten by a Q, it looked like Crystal W'd first, and then <laughs> Crystal looked like he W'd first. Remember, if they're isolated and you cue them, you get a, like 60% of the cooldown back. So Levy just opens with that. Oh, he's Q going he's off dead. once again. Zaytnot's probably going to go down here as well. Pops the ultimate. He's trying to dash in and out, weave away from TP Levy. coming through from Naru. Oh, here comes the 2v1. So is, is, it, is it real? Oh, is it a 2v1, oh, though? Is it a 2v1? Celebrity, they're on top of Zaytnot first. Now Naru's in trouble, no flash for him. <laughs> Dodges away from the Crescent Strike. Naru's been feared up. Oh he hops my. and in mid-air jumps what? again. It's the Super Mario Brothers here, Stress. You just cannot kill Levy right now. He is every single time. This time Celebrity is there. Just gets the paranoia alone. Jukes the entirety of the TCL. And man, this, this, this is done. This, uh, Levy is strong enough to just take everything. He's done twice the amount of damage in comparison to anyone from the other team here, Stress. He's a monster. They pick up the Mountain Dragon as well on top of that. They're 10,000 golden in the lead, and they're definitely looking like the team to go into the finals here against JCL, Japan's team. And Celebrity now, he's in a little bit of a sticky situation. Two on one. He's going to get jumped up by Levy. Levy! He's here again! The Superman himself! Here comes QTV. He's going to be able to stun up Zaytnot. He's going to try and dash away from this one. One more Q would be enough. QTV picks up that kill. <laughs> Levy didn't quite have the damage. Tried to smite Crystal to pick up the kill. Rono P's right in the back line. He could kill Crystal, well, let's maybe. let's see what's nope. going to happen. Almost. Ooh, Gets him down to a sliver of health. QTD now in a little bit of trouble. He's going to jump on top of Naru, but it's just too many members of the Turkish All-Star squad. He gets cut down. They're getting a little silly. <laughs> a little silly with the whole going in one at a time thing. Um, Levy, as long as he doesn't jump into five people, uh -oh. seems to be okay. Optimus wants to double dodge. He's going to go get take it down. Optimus just scuttles back to his side of the map.
<sighs> That's uh, <laughs> Double Doge is just trying to farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he wants. Crystal and the rest of the, t the TCL team are really up against it. As a reminder, this is game two of the best of three. Of course, the winner will face Japan later to see who goes to All-Star. Oh, that's not pretty. Zayno has been caught out, has to double dash away to get away from the chains of Optimus. He's got a Ludens Echo, a fully stacked Dark Seal, as well as the Abyssal Scepter. And you know, considering the uh, the performance recently of the CIS region with uh, Albus Knox Luna at World. Hello. Oh. Optimus goes back in. Crystal's going to take a lot of damage. One OP is looking for this one. Dashes on four. Crystal goes back in. Exhaust come down. QTV now in amongst the action. Stuns up Naru. But there goes Double Doge over the wall. Paranoia's come through. Levy's in amongst the fight as well. Doge the first of four. Levy's got the reset but decides not to go in. Across the map though, we have Celebrity. Well, he just kills him. He's taken out Elwin. Takes him out. They were chasing each other in the bottom lane for a very long time. But this is just wrapping up now. They are just so far ahead. 10k gold, Levy can jump in at any point. Oh, Sight Knot. Oh, oh no. Sight Knot. Stay away from the wall. There goes the jump. Sight Knot's going to take a lot of damage. QTV's behind him as well. Crystal's jumping in. He gets stunned up. Has to leapfrog away. But there goes Levy. Flashes in. Gets the double kill and hops out of there. Oh, it's all too easy for Levy at this point. Celebrity is uh, trying to hold back Naru from the turret as the minions push up. And Levy's going to go in to deal damage and just take that out. 31 kills to 12. It's a bit of a slow game. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> More kills than we have minutes here, Stress. They're just going off. They're not letting up on the fighting. That's all they really care about. I mean, it's 11,000 gold leaf still for the Southeast Asian squad. So here was that last fight. Yeah, this is the fight. Levy inevitably ends up joining it. Um, and that kind of shuts the entire fight out. Uh, Ron OP drops low, Dumbledore hops over the wall to get him, but again, paranoia was used, and the vision drops, Dumbledore out of nowhere comes Levy, and uh, Ron OP, oh, oh. Zonia's a death mark, but, but now... he's now... at the top of Elwin. Yeah. He's going to have to try and kite his way out, does get the charm down, but one final slash from Elwin is going to be able to take down Ron. Optimus waiting around the side, might catch Dumbledore here. Sneaky, sneaky, oh. Dumbledore face checks oh, inside of his own map. He didn't expect a LeBlanc to be there, and he gets taken down. And the Venn diagram of daggers marks where Cap fell at that point. Uh, Optimus, he's around the corner, waiting. But here comes Celebrity. Par oh, um, Paranoia was popped. Scared the red buff. <laughs> Got him. Well, he doesn't have his, uh, you know, the, the mini like Brambleback. Uh, this is a two-man Baron. It could have been to stop the vision of this Crystal. Baron. Crystal oh, goes in blind. <laughs> and this meets his fate. Zaynon now tries to go for the steal, but he's going to get cut down as well. The Baron buff as well as another kill for Levy gets picked up here. He's 19, 2, and 3. Just a little legendary um, in this game. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much just Levy kind of looking across the rift and saying, okay, well, I think I can take all of them. So the rest of you just take towers with this Baron buff, uh, and we'll try and walk this one home. Well, Levy has 23,000 gold. The next best person on the other team has... Uh, sorry, 23,000 damage. The next best person on the other team has 14,000 damage stress. I was going to say 23,000 uh, gold. Yeah, that's Woo, quite a lot of that's, gold. <laughs> he's been <laughs> investing um, right now in... Souls and deaths, apparently. <laughs> oh. I mean, Levy is a monster. 19, 2, and 3, massive damage. But he is quite squishy ish. Now he's got to be a little bit careful though. Zaytnot flashes forward, looks for the charm. And QTV now is going to try and jump in with Levy, the first one to fall. The hopscotch has started as one OP's jumped in as well. The charm will go in for the field goal. That's going to be good, but Dumbledore tries to go for the resets. Not quite enough because Levy's right there. Double kill for the Karsix once again. Yeah, double uh, no. kill. Now Celebrity's legendary. He just killed Elwind again. They just, they have a grudge match going on stress. I would say, okay, so Levy's done a great job, but now the fact that Celebrity is 8, 0, and 9, he has not died in this game. This might be game, though, here, as they take down the next inhibitor turret, definitely looking to see if they can push further on towards the Nexus. Only Crystal here is trying to stop yeah, this one. this is it. Paranoia's actually going to come out there looking for Crystal. He's going to jump away closer towards the Southeast Asian side of the map. Optimus jumps in, the Flash will go straight into Team Fire's wall. As they're now looking to see if they can end the game, Zaytnot gets onto the Fountain before he dies. The final Nexus turret has fallen. Optimus 
Optimus is getting the auto attacks down. They're going to be able to try and end this one. Naru's back up. The Baron Buff minions are here as well. Dana's gone in. Dumbledore's trying to do what he can. Celebrity's going to be able to pick up that first kill. Levy goes back in, but it's a double for Celebrity. And it will be the next that falls. Southeast, Southeast Asia's Wildcard All-Star team will be heading into the Grand Finals against the JCL squad. Ooh, that was a surprise best of three. We hadn't quite expected it. We hadn't quite expected the base race, the steals, the 21, three and five Kha'Zix, but well-earned victory in this best of three by the SEA representatives. Of course, the, uh, the Vietnamese All-Stars coming out, putting on a clinic pretty much in Assassin's mode from Levy. Pretty much, I mean, the first game was back and forth the entire, the, the entire game. Went to 50 minutes against the Toki All-Star squad. But it was that final base race where Southeast Asia came out on top, and then they went into the Assassin's mode. That's where they really shined and dominated them. <laughs> I don't even know where the dominated covers it. I'm looking at the damage done. Oh, uh, well, I, there was a surprising amount of damage done by LeBlanc. Um, but still, uh, tw as you said, 27,000 damage. The next highest on the enemy team, 15,000 damage. A lot of extra bite on that Kha'Zix. And that would be Elvin still, you know, he had a fantastic game one on some of this rift. Really carried Turkey into the late game on that cannon. Just couldn't quite replicate it in the Assassin's mode. Couldn't quite replicate it, but that's the thing about All-Star is if you get a one mode, it's always I would have liked to have seen a 1v1 shootout. That was very fun earlier in the day with uh, it being decided. But still, if, if you know, you can do well at Summoner's Rift, just if you can't do well at Assassin's, that also, you, you have to take into account that. Well, with that, Viet the Vietnamese All-Star squad has sealed their final spot here at IWCA. Let's head over to the analyst desk to take a closer look at how it went down. Thank you very much, Fish. You veritable Hugh Hefner doppelganger. Uh, I thought he was Budget Frost Kieran. He's also potentially Budget Frost Kieran. It's a fresh, <laughs> fresh smoking jacket. But enough about Fish and his <laughs> style preferences. I, I, I mean, <laughs> that's all I want. I want Bithy to laugh. Um, so obviously, this is one giant Kha'Zix highlight reel. But before we get to our inevitable one giant Kha'Zix highlight reel, let's talk a little bit about the early game, starting on the side of Southeast Asia. Once again, we see LeBlanc versus Diana. And for all of this tournament, it has been kind of Diana favored. She's been free to farm out. This was a little different. Uh, this one was close, though. I think uh, Optimus went like to the exact limit here because you see Naru flash auto attack and cancels the auto attack with the W with the distortion back and then gets a kill, gets a dangerous game, survives. That was pretty sweet. But this is also sweet. what you were talking about earlier, that you didn't necessarily think it was inherent LeBlanc weaknesses, but kind of inherent player weaknesses of not playing that matchup correctly. Yeah, uh, as well as itemizing LeBlanc into the support position versus the mid position. Yeah, but I think that Naru played it bad this time, you know? <laughs> so it goes both ways. Like, I, I do think the matchup is like, LeBlanc fa favored early game, and then Diana, obviously, at level 6, is like one shot nearly LeBlanc. Brutal. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I still think LeBlanc has the, the edge in the matchup. Well, as we move more into the mid game, uh, Southeast Asia, we, we were critical of them for being maybe over aggressive uh, in situations where they didn't need to be, taking fights that they didn't need to take. And that was the story in this next fight in the mid lane. Uh, really interesting one. Rusty, why don't you run us through this? Yeah, again, we saw this in the first gank of last game on Summoner's Rift, but they get everything they can. Right, the gank's good, it's successful. This is the point where you consolidate. You can maybe push the wave, but you need to know where they are before you say we push the wave in recall. Making this mistake and going forwards when you can see Crystal is actually asking to die and giving opportunities that shouldn't be there for the Turkish team to come back into it. And initially, it looks good. Like, their savior, Dumbledore, pulling out the Katarina. You're like, okay, Turkey, you're back in this. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Kha'Zix. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I mean, on the subject of Kha'Zix, why don't we just take a chance to look at it? Because Levy absolutely crushed out this game, and this man deserves some praise, deserves some attention here on the desk, because a lot of these plays are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, this particular one here, being able to assassinate everybody working with Celebrity, who does most of the work in that particular one, but look at the damage that he's doing. It's actually absurd. And once we get the Kha'Zix 1v1, the thing you have to note is whoever uses the invisibility first generally is the one that loses the matchup, aka Crystal, this time around because he jumps in, doesn't get the Q bonus damage. It doesn't get to land the Q first, so Kha'Zix Q's first, gets the cooldown first and wins it out, but 
it just continues to be so good. Does the, does the invisibility reduce the damage it takes still? No, no longer does that, luckily, for everyone. See, but today I learned something, right? <laughs> but make sure that you can't actually cast the Q on him. does stop you from auto-casting the Q once you're in range. So still some of those insane Kha'Zix outplay opportunities, although we rarely do see Kha'Zix versus Kha'Zix, kind of exclusive to uh, this assassin mode. However, really good play coming out from the team across the board. Is Were there any other standouts for you guys overall in that game, or is it pretty much just the Kha'Zix show? Optimus. I, I loved watching him play. I think he plays to his limit every time. I don't know if he's just being cocky or not, but uh, I loved watching him play. I thought there was a lot of situations where even I would not expect him to go there, and he still went there. So I got really surprised by him, and uh, I loved uh, I loved seeing that. Well, good for Levy and Optimus and all of Southeast Asia, because they now have moved into the finals bracket and will be facing up against Japan on Summoner's Rift, Assassin Mode, and potentially 1v1s to see who will be joining North America and Korea on Team Fire for All-Stars next week. From these impressions that you guys have so far, initial thoughts on who's going to take it? I mean, the two teams that are able to play on the Korean server have made it into the finals. Yep. Europe uh, fell again. No. Oh. I mean, honestly, why, do, why does it always have to be <laughs> Korea versus Europe? Uh, these they are the supreme overlords, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be done. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to see which of these teams will move up to play with the supreme overlords. But for now, we're going to take a quick break while our stores ready up for the finals. Don't go anywhere. The IWCA finals kick off right after this. He's been ignited. Optimus gonna take the distortion backwards. Now he's gonna take it down, and Optimus he picks up first blood. That's KDB. He's gonna jump in, but it's spinning around. Crystal dealing a lot of damage. He gets the double kill. He's gonna try and get the heck out of Dodge Levy. He's close by. Jumps over. They swap places. The one-two switcheroo comes out from Southeast Asia. As now Zayt knocks the target. Levy gets a double kill off the back of that one. A win as well. As Levy hops, gets and jumps again. Double dodge to the next target. He gets the triple kill.